This time of year when the uh, temperature starts to drop, it's nice to sit back and maybe enjoy a warm cup of something like maybe soup. Oh, yeah. But did you know that there's a battle going on for what kind of broth you decide to ladle up? And it has to do with three little letters. Mm -hmm. Fox 9's Ellen Gallant is here to explain what those are. Yeah, Robin, Jeff, those three letters are MSG. It's a food enhancer that adds flavor to your favorite can of soup, but it's also leading to somewhat of a food fight among, among manufacturers. When it comes to soup, things are really starting to boil. The country's two most popular brands, Campbell's and Progresso, are publicly bickering over their recipes. This ad is part of what started it. In it, Campbell's boasts that it's made only with TLC, or tender loving care while Progresso is made with MSG. MSG, or monosodium glutamate, is a flavor enhancer, and there's debate as to whether or not it causes a reaction. The glutamate really gives it a savory flavor. Susan Dino is a dietitian at Park Nicollet. She says the FDA has been studying MSG since the 1950s, and there's no scientific link to MSG and any other symptoms. It's healthy. It is considered safe, and it's okay to use. Like I said, there's a lot of people that feel they have sensitivities to it. And so I think that's why the food manufacturers right now are moving to take some of that out of there. Golden Valley-based General Mills is the latest. It announced this week it's removing MSG from all its canned soups. And Campbell's points out most of its soups contain less than 2% of the ingredients. But all of this might be just as much about marketing as it is about safety. Because while MSG might be safe, it's certainly not popular right now. The food manufacturers are responding to their customer base and saying, you know what, we can do this without that. We'll take that out. I think their challenge, though, is in how are they going to keep the flavor in there. And that means you'll still have to read those labels. Do you know says manufacturers might feel compelled to add something else to keep the flavor? And in many cases, that could mean more sodium. Ellen Gallus, Fox 9 News.